Today, I got a secret birthday surprise. I don't know what this is. Fantasy alphabet? It sounds like a Google thing. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what is it, fog? Is that a G, fog toys? I don't know what this is, folks. Uh, somebody, is, somebody already knows. So let's open this thing up. This is a gift from Nerd Urbanity. Does that make you a sponsor of the show today? Being that it's retaped, I'm thinking that's not what's in the box. <laughs> oh, nope, it is. <gasps> oh, no, it's the thing that I really wanted. Never ordered. I want to wish you the happiest of birthdays on your 40th. You were way too nice. Look, folks, the <laughs> I talk about this guy being a good dude anyway, and he's a he's a veteran. So you can support a veteran and a local mom mom and pop toy store by going to Nerd Urbanity and getting all kinds of cool stuff. Pre-order Rogue, by the way, if you want that Mayfex thing. But this, <laughs> this is like, honestly, legitimately had no clue. And this is the greatest gift that it could have been a surprise gift. This is incredible. I don't care that this is stuck to the box, by the way. Anybody that has a problem with that, I don't care about the box. This is great artwork. This is a great figure. I can't wait to open it. So join me today as we look at the Fantasy Alphabet Series Fog Toy 6 inch figure for this fully weathering detailed EA01. <laughs> Top of the box is just more of the image. Bottom of the box, look at those rocks, man. And then the side of the box, other side of the box, and the back where you get all of these awesome shots of the, the accessories and the sticker kits and the figure with his incredible future cyberpunk bike. This is so good. Oh my God. All right. I'm, this, is, this really made my day. Inside the box is white, like me. Take the foam part off. Look at that. Oh boy, all the stickers. So you can really, you can really uh, cyberpunk this thing up, make some cool stuff or use these things somewhere else maybe. You know, like uh, if you do dios, you might be able to do like uh, street signs or something like that, whatever. And there you go, you got some instructions to know how to rock. Look at this, I like this. This is a, a really thought out packaging setup. Here you go. You're starting to get into the goodies. There's all kinds of stuff. It's all hidden and stuffed down in there. What's this? I don't know. This is so cool. I love soft goods. I love detail, I love paint, I love you. <laughs> Look at this thing, holy smokes, man. Seeing this in person is way different than pictures on the internet and I've seen some really good pictures on the internet. But look at the paintwork on this thing. My goodness, that looks like a little turbine. And boom, you're out of there. This thing rotates so you can turn. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> this is so cool. You gotta do a little work, folks. You can't just have things for free. Even free costs you something, like a little bit of time. I'm gonna need my instructions today. Well, already I am very impressed with the execution here because somebody thought, hey, if you're gonna be leaning forward, we should redesign the neck so that you have to try to like deal with articulation and sculpts. This is genius. <laughs> Just smart people making smart toys. That's not right. Daddy's a happy boy. I was really not happy turning 40 because it's so old. But look, we're here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, it's, this is made up for it. <laughs> this is making me feel a little bit better about being an old turd. And yeah, I get it. I realize that there are other people watching us that are 40 and some people are older than that. And I think I'm a turd at 40? <laughs> oh boy, I am sorry for the rest of you. All right, there's a lot going on. This base is very heavy, but I like that because that means your figure's gonna stay on it. Look at the details of this base. This is painted so well, and you can see all there's like diamond plate metal in here. There's different types of bricks, center blocks, cinder or cin center. Center? <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those things you just kind of say it and you never really know what it is. <laughs> oh, I just proved to all of you that I'm stupid. I'm 40 years old and don't know if it's center, center, or cent uh, center. That's going to send you to hell. It's a center block. Now you got this bendy wire thing so that you can have a sweet action shot of your bicycle. So we take this thing and we put that in here. Well, it's a little light. I am so dumb. That's why it's not in there by default. This is not, it was not obvious, but <laughs> that is super cool. So you would do that and then put it in and then, oh God, 
This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, it took a little bit of time to put this thing together and follow the instructions in their kind of weird S order. This thing is so awesome. I love, I love the details behind this thing. The, you know, the one thing that I wish I could get is like a little flame effect. Let's move on. We've got incredible details. Look at the gauge cluster. You know, you know, your cyberpunk gritting when you got digital gauges and everything's covered in grime and grossness. This is this doesn't make sense what I just said. But look at the details the 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 edges of the metal look all roughed up and stuff. This is stunning, man. This is such a work of art. So Fog Toys, I, I think it was Fog, I don't, I don't know. This is way better than I thought it was. Like I said earlier, I already said it. But you got this little thing that you can turn the light on and then the front piece you can turn the light on. So I should probably do that at least for a segment of this video. And if you get one of these for yourself, um, either online or used or whatever, make sure that um, you're careful with it. This is a delicate piece of art. Well, it seems that one of these batteries is dead which is a, a bummer, but I'm sure it's easy enough to get a hold of. But there it is with the back thing where the, like the jet would be, which is pretty cool. Maybe if it was like an amber tone, it would be even cooler. All right, I'm, I'm ultra, ultra confused now because this is, uh, it's changing colors and I don't know. I, there's gotta be a trick. It, it's not, I thought it was like, maybe it could be touch sensitive or something, whatever. <laughs> oh boy. Someone in the comments, let me know how the stupid light works. Well, there you go in different colors. So obviously if you can get it red down there would be awesome. But here it is on the front being different shades. What? <laughs> I don't... How do I make it work? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter that it lights up because that was a feature I totally forgot even existed when I saw it many, many months ago. Um, and you wouldn't just really leave it on your shelf with lights on. That'd be good for photography and you're done. So. On to the next thing. Beautiful, love it. Okay, and you can screw it into the base here. Uh, so that way it's flying. So there you go. And you can bend it into totally different uh, angles. I love this. This is so awesome. Okay, best gift ever. <laughs> what do we get? Otherwise, we got his head, his default head in the box here is on. I just plopped it on, but he's got an earring. He's got all kinds of makeup or dirt on his face. His band-aid, band-aids bandages, uh, non-specific adhesive bandage. We've got pouches everywhere. They're glued shut, so we can't open them, which isn't that big of a deal. And you got some uh, like elastic things, this belt, this chest piece thing. I don't know, it's got, what, what just fell off? Well, that little band just fell off of something and I'm sure I'll see it when I play the video back. The soft goods are great. I love the details. I love when they do this with 112 and have these little clasps and things. This is really, really cool. It looks dirty, grimy. Man, it very much fits the rest of the aesthetic of the character in the universe. Now, it only has single jointed elbows, which is a bummer. So you really are just gonna like have him riding this thing. Uh, but the rest of the articulation seems to be like really nice. Great crunch and stuff. and single elbows, single knees, and he still has ankle articulation even though these duck boots have this kind of flap that covers over. Yeah, that's called a duck boot for those that don't know. I don't know why, but it is. Okay? Don't get don't come after me. He's got cybernetic arms. If you could have cybernetic arms, would you do it? Alternate hands in the box here. So let's look at these. We got this one, which is like a flat one, I assume for the throttle or whatever. Well, that would be the brake side. Doesn't matter. I don't know. It's the future. It could be anything. And then you got this one, which is uh, definitely for the uh, the right side where the throttle is. I know how bikes work. <laughs> and then the brake. And then over here, you got your clutch. So that's that, or it's a it's a pew pew hand, whatever you want. You, no one's gonna tell you how to live your life. And then you get this hand, which you might think is for the bike as well, but it ain't, it's for this. It's this uh, future shotgun thing, which looks pretty cool. Very much cyberpunk the game kind of look to it. And lastly, what else? You got some standard gripping hands. So if he's just kind of full throttle or whatever, you got some options there, folks. So looking pretty cool so that he can protect those dirty, dirty eyes. I think, uh, looks like he's mostly riding without this thing, but look how tiny it is. And look at the detail behind it. That's insane. How do you do that? Huh? Doesn't make sense. And then in this little baggie, this bag of goodies, you definitely want to keep stuff in here because this is the kind of 
These are the things that you lose in the review. Because what's in this little tiny baggie, I wasn't sure, and I had to check. Look at what the shotgun does. It does what shotguns do. You, you flip it down and then what? Look, uh, well, the chamber's empty. How do you fill the chamber? With these, you get two of these little things. Little shotgun shells. I wonder what kind of shotgun shell that is in the future. Is it incendiary or something? Does it shoot little electronic uh, things to disrupt? I don't know. And uh, those are probably in there forever now, unless that's a hollow tube. I should have checked that first. But now the shells are in there. <laughs> that was stupid. Why did I put them in there? All right, anyway, <laughs> they're not gonna be lost forever because they're in there. And then you get this thing that you'll never see in a Disney film again. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a tiny little cigar. It's so stinking small, man. Like, I don't even know how you're supposed to do something with that. Now, I got on eBay a while back and ordered some things that came with these headphones that I didn't, I just got because they were part of it. The little headphones, who cares? This. If you need a 112 scale cigar, now that's a cigar. It's got a little smoke thing. It looks lit. That's the way to do it, folks. Might, and it still scales well with him. That thing is so tiny. The default hands are just these kind of grippy hands. All right, it is hollow. I got this screwdriver, luckily, is the right size. So you can have great photos putting that stuff in there. Wow, I can't believe it. It's incredible. Now, he's got these ball joints on the wrists, which allow him to have those hands into any pose you possibly want, which is the way to do it. I am always happy when that's the case. And there you go with his head replaced so that he actually can look up and have like a really nice neck design without having weird cuts for this uh, skull. And I've said it a billion times. I love it. <laughs> Now, if he's really hauling butt, you can have his legs. I think that's what these are for. He can rest his legs there and just go all out. But by default, you don't want to do that. If you want his feet on the pegs, you can't have him sitting down on the seat, which is a little weird. So you have to have some fun poses. So hopefully I'm doing that stuff on the screen properly. Otherwise, otherwise you just have him there and he's kind of standing up on it because he's uh, he's in a hurry. He's trying to be, uh, you know, maneuvering a lot. But, you know, you're going to put this thing on the shelf. It's going to look awesome. Don't worry about it. I love it. I don't even know if you can get a hold of these things anymore. I'm ecstatic. Ecstatic? <laughs> ecstatic. Ecstatic. <laughs> it's another one of those words that I just, I just say it wrong. Words are hard, so I have a channel where I have to use them all the time. And I'm an actor, and sometimes you get a weird word in a script, and you're like, how do you say that? <laughs> and you say it wrong. But folks, yes, you saw the B-roll, you saw all the cool stuff. I am so happy. This is such a great set. I couldn't be happier. For a birthday gift? Come on. Now, when was my birthday? June 5th. So you all need to remember that next year and tell me on my day, not in a video that came out a week and a half later. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Thank you all so much. Look, this is such a great thing. And if you want to support somebody that's supporting the channel, you can support the channel. I mean, I'm not going to say you can't do that, but you can support Nerd Urbanity. Link is in the description. Go check out some deals he's got. Order some stuff. Support a veteran. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this review and you want to see some other third party cool stuff that's not a licensed thing, then, thanks, then click the top link there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.